I want you to know that I'm exactly like you. I'm naturally right footed and when I started playing I had a pretty weak left foot. But over time I realized the importance of having two strong feet and I made a commitment to improve my basic skills in both feet. Now I've grown to the point where sometimes you can't even tell which foot I am. I'll be playing in a game and the opposition will say he's only left footed keep him on his right. Then I'll cut in on my right foot and rip a shot into the top corner. Having two strong feet will increase your ability to make a difference on the field. You will be harder to defend, have the ability to score more goals, create more chances, and lose the ball far less often because you will be able to rely on your so-called weaker foot. I'll show you a few tricks to speed up the development process of your weaker foot, but at the end of the day, it comes down to repetitions. Your stronger foot has had hundreds of thousands of more repetitions more touches, more passes, more shots, more everything. When you decide to make the same amount of repetitions in each foot, you will have two strong feet. You can actually see noticeable improvements. You can improve your confidence and your ability in your weaker foot in only one day. The first thing you're going to do is throughout the whole day, you're going to keep a ball with you at your feet around your house. So while you're doing your daily activities, keep that ball at your feet. Everywhere you go, whether you're in the living room, sitting down, watching some TV, you're going to the kitchen, getting something to eat, you're even going to the bathroom. I want you to have that ball on your foot using only your weaker foot. So throughout the day, you're going to get hundreds of thousands of more touches simply by keeping a ball with you while you're at home. Now, don't break anything, keep it nice and casual, but as you move throughout the day, keep that ball on your weaker foot. Now it's time to get into your weak foot training session. And to get started, I want you to run to a wall. And while you're running there, I want you to dribble with the ball using only your weaker foot. So as you're dribbling to this wall, yes, I want you to be very careful, dribble with your head up, watch out for cars, be safe. But while you're dribbling, focus on using only that weaker foot, practicing different skills and tricks along the way. Once you get to the wall, it's time to complete your weak foot training session. First, you're going to complete 500 collective juggles on your weaker foot. Collective means if you drop the ball, you're going to pick it up and start again, continuing at the number that you left off at. So if you juggled for 20, you drop the ball, then you start again at 21. You're gonna get 500 consecutive juggles. When you're juggling, focus on making strong foot contact, getting nice backspin on the ball. You can vary your touches with big ones and small ones. The most important thing here is that you are getting in those repetitions. Now, if you wanna make it a little easier or you need to break it down just so you can get those touches and get those successful repetitions on your weaker foot, you can start with a kick and catch. So just kick the ball once on your weaker foot, catch it, and then you can go to two touches and three touches. Next, you're going to complete 500 collective passes on your weaker foot. So here you're focusing on passing, but also receiving. And focus on the quality of your first touch as well as the quality of your pass. When you're passing, you are trying to get your body over the ball, opening up your foot if you're using the inside of your foot, or making a really strong flex foot if you're using the outside of your foot. Just focus on that strong contact. Your first touch, you wanna to get it out of your feet so you can step into the pass. Most important here is the repetitions, but focus on your quality. Be light on your feet, always ready to move. Focus on getting that first touch out of your feet and stepping into your pass. Once you do a little bit of two touch, move into one touch passing. These still count as those 500 collective passes. Finally, you're going to do 500 collective shots. Now, when you're shooting, what you're really focusing on here is making good contact, good foot contact, 
good, nice shooting technique, nice follow through towards your target body over the ball, but really focus on a strong foot contact here. You are not focusing on power. If you're going to hit the ball as hard as you can and do 500 shots on your weaker foot, your weak leg is going to be destroyed tomorrow because it's simply not used to this amount of repetitions. So while you're shooting, focus on good foot technique, good shooting technique, and not power. You can also complete this workout at home if you don't have the ability to go outside or enough time. All of these exercises can be completed in the comfort of your own home. You can use your couch as an alternative to a wall. You can help yourself by comparing your weaker foot to your stronger foot. How do you strike the ball differently on your right foot compared to your left? What do you do differently with your toes, your ankle, your follow through, your contact? Analyze, compare, and make the necessary adjustments to improve faster. You may know what to do with your weaker foot, but you're not able to do it because you don't have the strength, mobility, or muscle memory to complete the technique. What you want to do is really focus on a strong overemphasis of your foot technique. So here you can see that the foot is weak. The ankle is not locked, the toes aren't flexed, the foot isn't strong. But when you make it strong, you really overemphasize that technique, you will feel that your weaker foot will improve instantly.